Sundarakanda, Chapter 53 Demons Burn Hanuman's Tail After Ravana listened to Vibhishna's words, he said, Vibhishna, you are right. It is wrong to kill the messenger. But we must punish him in another way. Monkeys are very fond of their tails. So burn the messenger's tail. He will leave Lanka with a burnt tail, a deformed body part, as per one of the prescribed punishments. All his relatives, near and dear, should see him feeling sad and missing his tail. Ravana ordered his demons to burn Hanuman's tail. The demons followed Ravana's order. They brought several small rags and wrapped them around Hanuman's tail. They soaked Hanuman's tail in oil and set it on fire. Hanuman became irritated with the demons for putting his tail on fire and pushed the demons away. Everyone in Lanka came to know about Hanuman and his burning tail and came to see the sight. The demons reacted to Hanuman's aggression and tied him down. Hanuman thought, these demons tied me down. Can they be serious and do they think they can control and subdue me? I can break all these ties and jump up and kill them all. I am here for Sri Rama's work and they can't take revenge on me. I alone can kill all these people. But Sri Rama promised he was going to kill Ravana. Sri Rama should keep his promise and be happy. That is why I should keep quiet, tolerate the pain and return to Sri Rama. These demons are going to parade the streets with me. I will have a chance to see Lanka in the daylight. Although I saw Lanka at night, during the daytime I can check the security of the city. It is important that I see Lanka during the daylight hours so that I can report back to Sri Rama the details of the city security. After tying Hanuman down, there was happiness everywhere. The demons were ready to parade through the city with him. They started the parade with great sounds of the conch, drums, loud voices and lion roars. The demons followed behind Hanuman. In spite of his burning tail, Hanuman was walking comfortably through the streets of Lanka. Hanuman observed many things like large hangars, underground houses, beautifully decorated common places, crowded houses, small streets, big roads and secret paths. People including ladies, children and elders came out of their houses to see Hanuman with his burning tail. The demon ladies told Sita Devi that the monkey who was talking to her was being paraded through the streets of Lanka with his tail on fire. Upon hearing the awful news, she prayed. Sita Devi felt very bad and began to pray to the God of Fire. She prayed, O oh God of Fire, if I have served my husband dutifully, if I have performed penance, please do not burn Hanuman's tail. O oh God of Fire, if Sri Rama has compassion and if I have any little bit of luck, please do not burn Hanuman's tail. O oh God of fire, if the righteous Sri Rama's wish is to come and meet me, please do not burn Hanuman's tail. O oh fire God, if truthful Sugriva is going to take me away from this sorrow, please do not burn Hanuman's tail. Thus Sita Devi prayed to the God of fire. But even before Sita Devi prayed to the fire God, the fire God went around Hanuman and the fire did not touch him. Therefore, Hanuman did not feel the heat. Hanuman was surprised and thought, What is this? Even though my tail is burning, I do not feel the heat. It is not painful at all. Even with fire blazes, my tail fe uh, still feels cool. The reason is very clear to me. It is Sri Rama's blessings that have saved my tail. While I was crossing the sea, Mainaka wanted to help me. Sri Rama. In the same way, the fire god is helping Sri Rama by keeping my tail cool. As a result of Sita Mata's blessings, Sri Rama's compassion and the fact that my father, the wind god and the fire god are friends, I am being protected. 
Hanuman thought about what he should do next. Hanuman jumped onto the big gate of Lanka. Then he made himself small, causing the ropes which had tied him down to become loose and fall off. Then again he enlarged himself, pulled an iron piece of ga- off the gate and killed the guards.